All right, peeps, this is Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby, way I'm new to this. So let's like, comment, subscribe, so we can grow this sucker. All right, hey, so today I'm pumped. This one, this one, I, lo I love this stuff. This is uh, one of my favorites. And I just got a bottle of it, Frey Ranch, single barrel. Yeah, I've been, I've been trying to get one of these. I tried to get one of the last batch and couldn't get it. I, went, I actually went to the distillery. I was hoping to get a taste of it there and maybe buy a bottle. That'd be great, right? Got to the distillery. My wife and I got it in uh, Fallon, Nevada. <laughs> and they were out. They had they'd been out for a while, but they couldn't tell me when the next batch was going to come out. So the short story is a week after we left, we got an email saying it came out. <laughs> I was lucky enough to get this, just roaming the internet, to get this at this place called uh, Rockland Bottle Shop in Rockland, California. This, it was, man, this place, Rockland Bottle Shop, dude. It's, uh, I mean, I've been to some, some places, Death and Taxes in uh, uh, Reno or Sparks right there. Uh, they, they have all kinds of stuff. I had, ooh, I was lucky enough to get a taste of E.H. Taylor Warehouse C, man. It, it's, you know, the magical is the same, all that stuff. There's the God, doors cracked open in Warehouse C, changing the temperatures. And anyway, a bottle's like $4,500, $5,000. It's E.H. Taylor. It's good. But it, and I don't know if it was psychological or what, but it did taste a little better. A little better. I mean, I got some uh, E.H. Taylor small batch, which I like. That's kind of what got my, uh, my uh, battalion chief, really good friend of mine, and uh, the story behind that D.H. Taylor got me doing this. I enjoy it so much, love the history of it and all that. Really got me into this stuff. So this Frey Ranch uh, single barrel is 126.92 proof. <laughs> I like the high stuff, but I mean, I like it when it, uh, the proof is high, but it doesn't burn. I like it when they can get that right. Anyway, I think these are, these, uh, at Frey Ranch, these single barrels are, uh, they're in the barrels for five years, minimum five years. They're anywhere between 120 and 137 uh, proof. Uh, what else they got? And this four, they, this is a four grain mash bill too. Four grain mash bill they got, and it's all like uh, non-GML corn, uh, winter, winter rye, winter, wheat and two row malted barley two row malted barley if you ever get a chance you're in Fallon Valley go to Frey Ranch they grow all their stuff it's all it's one thing they're farmers and distillers their rye is delicious their bourbon is good and this single barrel single this single barrel I haven't had it for a while but uh, it's I'm for I don't know a month month and a half I just got this at Rock and Bottle Shop like I said and it's a store pick. It's a store pick by a Rockland Bottle Shop. So I'm excited to get another taste on it. My wife loved it. So, hey. Yeah. Yes. Oh, man, that's a good color. That's a hit. Heavy cork too, man. That's quality. Oh man. Ooh. It smells like earth. Grain, you smell, you can smell it. You can smell the grain in here. You can smell the uh wheat. Yeah, you can smell the wheat. Yeah, of course, it got some caramel. You can smell, you know, it doesn't smell super hot though. It smells cinnamon. Yeah, okay. A little spice. Now, it doesn't smell like spicy, spicy, like rye or anything like that, but it smells like a, like a cooking type spice, like cinnamon. To me, I'm, like I said before, I'm, I, I use simple terms it's cinnamon. Yeah, it smells good. Honey. Kind of sweet, yeah, sweet like honey. You see, give this sucker a see it. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. 
food. Wow. I mean, it's got a little bit of heat, but it's just, it's not like almost 127 proof heat. Man, that is good. Burn that off a little bit. Like I always say, second sip's always better. Pinky's up. Mm. Tastes like chocolate, a little chocolate. Man, it's tough. Hey, maybe a little toffee. And maybe, maybe it's because it's the four grains. They got a lot more dancing on the palate there. Man, it's long lasting too. Yeah, that's good from front to back. Sweet on the tip of the tongue, really coats the palate. Man, that's good. It's real good. Man, that is an easy sip. Look at those legs on that sucker. That's good. Man, I don't know if you guys see that. See the legs on that? Man, that's good. Staying together really well. I like that. Man, still a little bit. Like a little spice. Spice burn, but not not hot. No spice, yeah, I like it. Man, that is good. Maybe a little, a little toffee, even too, maybe. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Yeah, just as good as I remember. Like I said, if you get a chance to go to Frey Ranch, go to that distillery. It's a beautiful place. It's, you know, it's about 45 minute drive from Reno, Sparks area. But if you're into bourbon, you want a good single barrel, that's where you're gonna get it. Unless you get somewhere you can get a store pick. That's the only store I've ever seen it in, honestly. Rockland Bottle Shop. I had to be surfing online, ordered one. They had it and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Drove I live about an hour from there, a little over an hour, an hour, 10, 20 minutes. So, control up there, got it, boom. Per, I mean, those guys, they've had, they got stuff there. Like a, like a, the story I started in the beginning, a little ADHD. Anyway, we finished that little story. <clears throat> Death and Taxes has it, just about anything you can, in, in Nevada, it's got just about anything you want that you can, you can taste, you can get pores of anything. Like I said, I had a warehouse scene, it was good. I was really happy, I got a rhetoric. A couple rhetorics too, blood oaths, blood oaths that I can't find anywhere else. I can't find anywhere else. There's people that know way more about this than I do. They know where to find stuff. But uh, the Rockland Bottle Shop, they have the most stuff for sale. Good stuff that you don't find. That's all together in one spot. But uh, it's a it's a it's a cool place. And I actually I actually bought another Old Forester single barrel from there because I. Wouldn't be able to find one anywhere else, and they happen to have them. Anyway, we're gonna rate this on axes, right? Five axes here is gonna be bad axe. So, this is a bad axe bourbon right here. Prairie Ranch is bad axe single barrel. So, uh, go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'm new at this, trying to grow this thing, having some fun. I'm gonna get a buddy in here with me, uh, Burnsy. John Byrne will be uh, will be starring soon. So uh, shout out to John Byrne. And we also say on this channel, sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad axe. Till next time, I'm Bobby.